Hey guys, a couple weeks ago I posted a video of some of the corn that I cooked on the barbecue and a lot of you guys wanted the recipe. So I'm doing a little video here on how to make Mexican style street corn, also known as elote. So to make this street corn, what I like to do is grab a big piece of tin foil, spread it out because you're going to need something to put all these sauces on and you're going to need uh, cooking twine, some butter, some mayonnaise, some uh, sour cream, Parmesan cheese, some chili powder, some smoked paprika, and I'm also trying a different recipe today. This is chili cheese from Cabela's. You could buy it online or you could uh, just walk into the store and pick one of these up. I haven't tried this one, so this is a new test that we're doing today. And also too, you're gonna need some fresh cilantro. And we'll cook a little bit of that. Uh, I mean, chop a little bit of that. So what I like to do is I like to grab my corn here, grab a set of scissors, and I'll cut the top part here, right off. And then what I like to do is grab a, the first couple layers of the dark leaves, and then just peel them right off until you kind of go to some light, fresh, green looking husk. And then at this point, what I like to do is peel it back one at a time all the way down. And the reason I like to do it one by one is because it just turns out a lot nicer all the way down. If you grab just by big chunks, then you're risking that uh, it might just break off and then now you're not gonna have this handle for it, which creates a really nice presentation. So I just go one by one. I've actually mastered this doing it uh, in bigger chunks, but uh, just for you guys, I'm just gonna do it one by one. And then you're gonna go like this, go it back one by one. And then with all these uh, hairs, we're just gonna peel it off. Until you got the majority of them off. And then it's gonna look like that. Then what I like to do, is I like to grab some cooking twine and I like to go 16 inches. I'm doing the math for you guys so that uh, you guys aren't guessing and cutting little pieces and having to do it three times. So I'm gonna show you a fast way of how I like to tie it. So I like to go underneath, I like to go once, just do a little bit of a knot, and then I flip it like this, and then I do a double knot. And at this point, she's ready to go with a nice little presentation. So another thing that I that we do is uh, we gotta get the water boiling and we add some sugar to a boiling pot of water just to sweeten the flavor of the corn. So we're just gonna grab these corns right now and start boiling them. Put them into this pitcher right here. Right here. So right here we got some water boiling. It's been boiling for a little bit. We're gonna set it in. We'll probably leave it in there for about, I don't know, three, four minutes. And then uh, after that, we'll take it out and put it on the grill. So we're gonna pause it for a second right now and we're gonna come right back once we're ready to grill it. Okay guys, so the corn's been boiling for about four minutes and we're ready to take it out and transfer it to the charcoal grill. inside the grill. Nice red coals, that's what we want. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this corn in here. We just wanna char it. We don't wanna leave it in there too long because it's already cooked. keep rotating it just so that it doesn't burn we'll probably end up doing this for three minutes it's gonna vary on uh, how hot your barbecue is so um, you could put it on for two minutes you could put it on for five minutes depends how charred you want it 
It's looking like we're probably only going to do two minutes of it. I'm going to close the lid so it gets a little bit hotter. And we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay guys, so our corn is ready. So right here, we probably had it in here for probably about, I don't know, four minutes. And just enough to get a char on it. So now we're going to grab these and bring it to our prepping station. It's a bit hot, so we got to do this quick. So now that we have it at the prepping station, the first thing I like to do is slide it down the tape. Grab the butter. I added a little bit of salt in this butter just to give it a little bit more flavor. I'm going to grab this and start putting it all over the corner. Just like that. Once it has all the butter on it, I know this is going to sound gross, guys, but I'm telling you, once you guys do it, it tastes delicious. This is the mayo. So we're going to start coating it now with mayo. And then dressing the corn like so. And putting it all over. You can be generous with it. You can be light on it. It's all up to you. And now we go to the sour cream. Now I'm gonna dress it with some sour cream. A nice thick coat of sour cream. Okay. Once that's covered with sour cream, it's your choice. You can choose smoked paprika or chili powder. Today I'm going to try the smoked paprika. So then you just dress it like so. Make sure it covers all areas of the corn so that you get flavor in every bite. And then we're going to close it. And then we're going to grab the Parmesan cheese and just dust corn parmesan cheese you can use any kind of cheese it's uh, your preference I like parmesan so this is how I dress my corn and then the final touch on this one we're going to chop some cilantro You don't like cilantro, you can use dill, parsley, or just don't even put it on at all. I think it just helps with the presentation. So that's the first one. That's ready to be served. So for the second one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this corn and look at how beautiful it's turned. That looks delicious. So we're going to add salted butter. Get it all over the corn like so. And then now we're going to skip the mayo and just do sour cream. And dress this corn. I'm going to be very generous with the sour cream. Just because it's the only thing that I'm putting on besides the butter. Now for the seasoning, chili cheese from Cabela's. This stuff is delicious. Never tried it on corn, but here it goes. Mexican street corn. This is one of those recipes that you're glad you learned it, but uh, um, I don't know. Just I hope you guys enjoy it, and 
yeah, cook it for your friends and family. It'll be a big hit at one of your next parties. Thank you for watching.